story came about because we all have kids, mm-hmm. or yes. all of us that do have kids, I should say, have had this whole scenario in our heads, like who would take care of the kids and whatnot. Yeah. So talk a little bit about that. And- um, well, the idea kind of came about because uh, my daughter's now in third grade, <laughs> but before she was born, my wife was pregnant, and... Um, we were having that conversation that, you know, nervous, soon-to-be parents have, like, Ooh, when we die, <laughs> you know, right. what, who do we leave the kid to? And she kind of jokingly said, uh, well, you know, we had these two single friends, and she's like, well, why don't we just leave, leave you know, the baby to them? And I said, he knows that's, this better than Mark yeah. and Claire. And I, uh, and I said, that's a great idea for a movie. And she said, I know, I pitched it to you a month ago. And I went, oh. I wasn't, I wasn't really listening. And um, so, uh, you know, Kristen knew our friends as well and, and uh, told you the idea. And we both were like, yes, this, that's, this, is, a, this, is, this is one we have to write. Um, you know, we, we're always looking for ideas that feel high concept, high concept, uh, which to us just means something that is... I think big comedically, we can do a lot with, we knew we would be able to do a lot comically with the situation that the two characters were, would be in, but for us, more importantly, is it was really grounded in something emotional. That, that, that was exciting to us, the idea of you know, really running with and being honest about the, the tragic circumstances that is kind of all this comedy is arising out of. And we thought that would be a, you know, kind of hopefully fresh and new. You know. Are the characters then like your two friends as far as do they totally not get along as... Oh, no. I mean, not in that regard. They're, we're all, we all love each other. <laughs> uh, but, I, you know, I think for Messer, we de- there's definitely some of Mike. There's a lot of Mike. Certainly our friend Mike is very excited that Josh Dumel is, <laughs> you know, play, is now connected to him. Essentially playing him. Yes, yeah. is, is connected to him in any way. That's, <laughs> that's nothing but a boon for yes. McCusker. Yes. So. <laughs> and do you listen to your wife's pitches a little more? Beth has very good ideas for movies. Yes, <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, my wife was in, in development for a long time, you know, so, you know, she's, you know... Uh, she knows her stuff. Yeah, you know, definitely. Um, yeah, that's more of a comment on me being a schmuck than <laughs> anything else, quite frankly. We'll go with the new, the, with the new dad. It's in no way a comment on Beth <laughs> that it is on... <laughs> Why would she still be with me? Uh, you're you know, tired. I was. When you guys came together to work, I understand you both met during school mm-hmm. and whatnot. What is it about your partnership that works so well? Or that you enjoy about it, I guess I should say. <laughs> that we get to go home to our, uh, to our own spouses at the end of the night. Uh, uh, what do you think it is, Kristen? Well, you make me laugh. <laughs> so that helps a lot. He definitely... Ian's the and brighter. you make me laugh. Well, you know... Um, it's a, it is a, it's, it's a creative marriage for sure. I mean, I think that we complement, our skill sets complement each other. I think our it's, sensibilities complement yeah. each other too. Um, and I, I don't know how to write any other way because when you write with somebody, you're accountable. You have to show up yeah. and get it done. And so we keep each other going. That yeah, way. that certainly is definitely, <laughs> that's definitely part of it for me. It's like, oh, I gotta get my scenes done. <laughs> I've seen Kristen in an hour. <laughs> I gotta get something down. Um, but, uh, I mean, I think it's just, it's interesting because people make assumptions that it's like, you know, uh, if it's a dirty joke, they assume that Ian wrote it, especially, you know, we'll t- we'll go around town with a pitch and if it's something that will just sound better coming from, from Ian, from a guy, he'll pitch it, they'll assume that it was his idea, but it was actually mine. 